Greetings, Droners. Welcome to Drone Laws. Once again, I'm rocking the collar so I can rock the things that you need to know every time you rock a drone. These are the things that you have to absolutely follow every single time you are going to fly a drone, whether that be recreational, whether that be for money, whether that be for anything. These are just the basic laws that you need to follow. And make sure you know that I am not a lawyer. I am telling you this based upon the research that I happen to do and the experience that I have happened to have. And I'm just doing this to help you out. So take it with a grain of salt and enjoy. Number one, if you're gonna be flying a drone, you need to be properly registered. Whether that be registered as a hobbyist or having the 333 exemption. If you are flying with the 333 exemption, you need to be registered as a hobbyist anyway. So make sure your drone is registered. You could do that through the FAA and there's a link below on videos about the 333 exemption as well as the registration process for hobbyists. You need to make sure you do that. Number two, you need to do your research based upon where you're flying. One of the things you can do to make sure you're flying within the regulations of FAA is use one of the apps to do that. And those apps are Hover, uh, Before You Fly, um, links to these are in the description, but you need to know that you are flying in non-restricted airspace, do it. Number three, everything else on this list is gonna be based upon United States laws because that's where I live and that's where we fly and that's probably where you are, maybe. You cannot fly over 400 feet, period. Just don't do it. Bad idea, uh-uh, don't do it. And if you don't have an altimeter on your, on your drone that tells you how high that is, 400 feet, if you're doing it by stories, and a story is like say 12 feet, 12 to 15 feet, that's anywhere between 22 and 30 stories. Number four, you have to keep your UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, within eye line. Very important, you gotta just do that. Number five, really important, make sure that you keep your drone clear of any manned aircraft. If a helicopter happens to be flying down the coast of California at 200 feet while you're flying at 200 feet, it is your job to get out of the way. It is not their job. It is not worth the lives of those people on there. Human beings have the right of way over robots. Number six, legally you are not to fly over the heads of people who are unprotected or unaware that you are flying or with you while you are flying. Pretty much stay away from other people and cars and things that are not involved with the shoot that you're doing or just the flying that you're doing. It's dangerous, drones can be unpredictable and you could end up being sued for things and it's illegal. Number seven, you cannot fly within five mile radius, circle radius of any airport. And it's really important to distinct, be distinct about that because that's where manned aircraft are taking off and landing all the time. But five miles is a really wide area, and especially if you're only going up 400 feet. So there is actually a precedent, so if you ever do need to fly, all you have to do is call the air traffic controller. And I have a link below. If you need to call the air traffic controller and say, hey, I'm gonna be flying two and a half miles from your airport, I'll be south, I'll be 400 feet or lower, and I'm a boss because I'm with the FAA and I got my drone registered, you know what I'm saying? You need to make sure they know you're going to be in that airspace and get their permission to do it. They'll let you know what you can or can't do and listen to them. Number eight, do not fly in adverse weather conditions. If it is windy and rainy as shit, just don't do it. If it's over like 10 or 15 miles an hour, you shouldn't be flying for the most part. Unless you are a professional and this is what you do, you still should really be thinking about flying because you don't want to lose your drone, number one, and you don't want to cause danger and harm to other people and be the person that is the dick that gets another law passed that we all have to abide by. Number nine, do not fly under the influence of alcohol or drugs. <laughs> if you're dumb enough to put something in the air and fly it while high on something or drunk, you shouldn't even have a drone. Just don't be a stupid person. Thank you. Number 10, make sure you're in a safe environment when you fly and make sure you know how to fly your drone. Legal people in law enforcement have the ability to interpret these laws any way they want. Just know what you're doing with your drone. Know how to use it, read the manual, control it, be a boss about it. Number 11, do not fly near an oversensitive infrastructure or properties such as power stations, water streaming facilities, correctional facilities, <laughs> correctional facilities, <laughs> um, heavily traveled roadways and government facilities. Um, just don't fly over stuff you shouldn't fly over. Hilarious that they actually mentioned that you can't fly over like prisons. I guess you can't drop contraband in there. Number 12, check and follow all local laws and ordinances before flying over private property. You really shouldn't be smiling on people you don't know. Number 13, lucky number 13, the last one. Don't be a dick. Like seriously, just don't do things that you know are questionable. Like if you're just like, oh, let me take the height settings off my drone. Let's see how high it can fly. Let's go over that highway and see how close we can get to the cars. You know, let's go see those girls at the naked beach flying. Well, actually that's public domain, but you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do the things where you have to think and say, wow, is this okay? If you ever have that thought, 
then you shouldn't be doing it because you're gonna ruin it for everyone else. So don't be the person that screws us all and lands the, that crashes the drone in the White House lawn and gets a ban across the entire Washington DC because you just had to try to fly by the White House, which is a terrible idea. Droners, thanks again for enjoying this awesome collar that I'm wearing and sticking through with the laws of drone flying. And if you actually want to see any more laws and stuff that you need to know when you can fly, then you can go ahead and click right here. And if you wanna see more lists and awesome things that involve drones that I'm doing because greatness happens, then you can go ahead and click right where I'm rubbing. Right there, yeah. And make sure that you be a friend to the friend and subscribe. And as always, stay fly.